What do we know about similar triangles? Well, if you take proportions of sides, you should get the same thing, right? So in other words, if we look at this long side, this ground side of the longer triangle divided by the altitude of the longer triangle, you get the same thing as the ground side of the smaller triangle divided by the altitude of the smaller triangle, right? So again, similar triangle. So let's do that. So that means that x plus y divided by 10. So again, that's like ground side and then altitude equals y over six. Again, the ground side and then the altitude, right? Because we're given, well, we're given those heights, right? But this is actually like pretty good news because this equation is fairly simple, right? There's no squaring or there's no other powers or anything like that. This is linear in X and Y. So it's actually in the end gonna be a little bit easier to work with. So let's maybe uh, clear denominators here. So we'll have six X plus six Y equals 10 Y, right? And from that, well, what can we get? We'll have, 4y equals 6x after moving some things around, right? But that's going to give us y equals 3 halves x. I think we can all agree to that, right? So that means that we immediately have a value of y when x is equal to 5, right? So let's see that. So if x equals 5, then y equals, well, what's it gonna be? 15 over two. And then, well, let's also see a relationship between the derivative of y with respect to x, sorry, with respect to t, and the derivative of x with respect to t. And we can get that by taking the derivative of this equation. So that's gonna give us dy by dt equals three halves dx by dt. Okay. And then, well, let's immediately notice that we actually didn't need y, but I guess like it's nice to find everything just in case, right? Especially because a lot of times you will need to solve for like some not given variable. Okay, so we have dy by dt equals three halves dx by dt. So that means if we know dx by dt is three, then dy by dt is nine over two.